Hello there, my name is Don and this I hope will be the first of a series of videos that I post on YouTube showing you uh, how I go about making my dioramas. Uh, this one is uh, Normandy 1944-45. Uh, there are two, two old French shops by a cobbled street and you'll see the end shop has been bombed out. You can see the exposed brickwork there. And if you look carefully on the, the signpost there, uh, it's pointing to a town called Falais. And if you know anything at all about your World War II history, you'll know that if these soldiers ever make it to the Falais area, uh, it's quite likely that they won't be coming back. Okay, so that's, uh, that's my Normandy diorama. I've made one also of a, an old Dutch house. I'll just lift the camera so you can see the top there. Uh, it seemed quite relevant because I'm half Dutch anyway. Okay, so there's the old Dutch house. And this one of an old bombed out church. There we go. Now, as the title of this video suggests, uh, I don't like to pay too much money for making these dioramas. So the only materials that I use is cardboard and filler. That's all I use. Uh, one millimeter cardboard, which is basically corn, flat, corn flake packet cardboard, uh, or uh, three millimeter thick cardboard, which you can get from your local stationers. I buy 60 by 90 centimeter sheets uh, for just over one pound and that's enough to do two or three dioramas. So it's very, very inexpensive to buy. Uh, and also filler, you've probably got half a tub lying around in your garden shed somewhere. Uh, but this small pot uh, cost me just a fraction over one pound, one and a half dollars. Uh, so it's very, very inexpensive, uh, very cheap to make. Okay, so what we're going to do is make this Normandy diorama. Uh, we'll start off with this shop here with no bomb damage, so that will make it nice and easy for the first for the first uh, shop. Uh, and then we'll go on to do this this shop and the, the cobbled street. Uh, so I'll just show you how I go about making uh, this first shop. So three millimeter cardboard I cut to six inches by six and a half inches uh, I still use the old imperial measurements I'm afraid uh, so for the metric uh, metric sizes are 15.3 centimeters by 14 16.4 uh, and three millimeter card so what we need to do is mark out where you want your doors and windows which is quite easy to do uh, you can have any size obviously, any the door, doors at 135 scale are normally 2 inches, 2 and 1 8 inches, something like that. So once you've got the door size, you can normally uh, guesstimate pretty much where the, the, the uh, windows go. Okay, so that's the, uh, the shop front. So with a very sharp knife, we need to cut, cut out the doors and windows till we uh, get something like this uh, and now we need to put some architectural features uh, all around the, the, the doors and windows um, let's just have a look if you cut a number of strips 3 sixteenths of an inch wide or uh, 4 5 millimeters something like that uh, this will go around the window frames like so. There's a lot of different designs for windows obviously but uh, we'll go for the um, concrete framed windows for, uh, on this uh, on this project. Okay if I show you when I've finished that might just give you a little more idea. So I've put uh, all this 316 
cardboard all around the windows there and I rather like this I don't know what that design is called but you need to cut a number of small small squares that just glue all the way along the front there and then when you've got your shop sign underneath and your concrete frame over the top it looks quite uh, quite interesting interesting to look at okay so you will need uh, your, the mouldings all around the shop uh, just pencil them in where you where what design of mouldings you'd like to put around there uh, and I've gone for for that design like that so it can be however you'd like it to be so basically that's how I, I did the, the the front of the shop so if I move that to one side we need two sides uh, these are what have I made these uh, two and a half inches deep or 63 millimeters and they need to be glued on the side like so just a word uh, you need to make this can you see this dimension just slightly higher than the height of the shop so it's like that so that when you put your roof on it, it sits flush that's that's the only reason okay just remember that so when the glue has dried after about half an hour and you put those sides on like so then you can put the floor anywhere in the back like so uh, and when you've got when you've done that it, it, it turns out quite a solid quite a solid object really it's, uh, it's quite quite uh, quite robust okay so now the roof uh, where did I put the roof okay the roof needs to be slightly wider than the the width of the shop and uh, longer than the pitch of the roof like that so I've made this six and a quarter by three and three quarters or 58 millimeters by 95 millimeters uh, and I'll just show you how how I make uh, my slate roofs so you will need a piece of one millimeter cardboard so a cornflake packet basically and divide it into three eighths is that what I did yeah three eighths or ten millimeter squares so you'll need a grid of uh, ten millimeter squares and then with a very sharp knife uh, every other line can you see that every other line I can't see very well you'll just need to cut down that second line okay now when you're cutting with a sharp knife there is only one way of cutting cardboard and that's slowly please be very careful because the knife can very easily slip off your metal ruler and uh, cut your fingers so be very very careful and cut slowly okay so when we've got a strip like this then with a pair of scissors just cut halfway halfway along so it makes the shape of slates like so I won't go all the way along but that's that's basically what you need to get and then on your roof glue that on like so and then well you can see on the finished one I've just put rows and rows uh, of uh, of slates all the way up to the top and then uh, some coping stones along the top there that's also one millimeter cardboard so that's how I do my slate roof
maybe didn't explain it terribly well, but there you go. Uh, I think it looks quite realistic, or it will do when it's all painted up. Okay. So now we've got the uh, the basics uh, of the, uh, the the shop done. Uh, if we were to paint this as it is now, um, the problem with cardboard, if you paint it, is that it looks like painted cardboard. Uh, so it doesn't look very, look very realistic. So this is what I do. You just need a very small amount of uh, filler. There we go. Don't need too much. Put that in a bowl, maybe a bit more. Uh, and to that just add a very small amount of water. And we need to mix that together you can always put more filler in if it's too uh, too runny but we're after the consistency of uh, soft margarine that's uh, that's what we're looking for maybe put a little bit too much water in that it just takes a moment to to mix the water in Maybe a bit too thin, so we'll put a bit more. There we go. Oh, beautiful. So we, we don't want it to be a paint, and we don't want it to be as, as thick as... Uh, the filler is I think that's okay there we go so I'll put a piece of paper down so I don't want to mess up my brand new cutting mat and we'll just paint all over It's just that when this dries, it will feel like stone, which is basically what filler is. You'll get a nice texture, so it won't be it won't be cardboard anymore. It will be a, a stone finish. It's actually a little bit runny. It shouldn't be quite quite as runny as this. So. Uh, I <laughs> never like this in rehearsals. That's it. Put a little bit more in. There we go. Beautiful. That's more like it. So that kind of consistency, is that the word? It's not as easy as I thought making these videos because you sit in a room all by yourself talking to yourself for 15 minutes. You feel like a bit of an idiot. There you go. Okay, that's better. So it doesn't need to be smooth. The, the, in fact, the, the, the rougher the, the finish, the better really because when it dries uh, and you start to... Uh, Paint, paint the finished uh, finished shot. When you come to dry brushing, you'll be dry brushing over the over the filler, which will make it stand, make the features stand out a lot a lot better. Okay, so that's basically what you need to do. Just go all 
that the site you don't need necessarily to do the roof because uh, that's pretty much the color of slate anyway cardboard is the color of slate but we will be painting painting the roof uh, but um, this will only take about half an hour to an hour to dry and it will be ready for painting uh, okay I'll just do the front for now there we go so you can see see what kind of as long as we can actually see the the shape of the moulding still we don't need too much on that we can't to, that we lose the definition of the moulding so there we go right so So we'll leave that to dry for half an hour and then in the next video I will show you how I paint and weather the, uh, the, the shop and put the doors and windows in. Uh, I've made I've made uh, the shop window that will fit in like that so you you can see how the the window will look when uh, when we fit that in but I'll do that in the next video uh, so until then something I've always wanted to say if you've enjoyed this video uh, please click the subscribe button and click the bell icon and you'll be notified when uh, the next video comes along in probably two or three days time we'll see how it goes so thank you very much for watching and uh, happy modeling <laughs>